let me set the same for here because I place my product on one side for a second. So, it's the 1991 season, Chicago Bulls versus the New York Knicks. We're into the last few dying seconds of the game, less than four seconds to go on the clock. The Bulls have a free throw, and as Michael Jordan steps up to take it, this fan sitting just underneath the basket tries to heckle him and he yells out, Hey Jordan, shoot this shot with your eyes closed. Now, Michael being Michael, casually obliges, he steps up, closes his eyes, swish, and he makes a shot. Now, as cool and as iconic of a moment as this is, there's something very tangible you can take from this and apply into your own golf training regime. First of all, it's important we ask ourselves, what is Michael Jordan doing here? Is he just trying to show off and be cocky? Well, I think, obviously, in this circumstance, largely that's why he's doing it. But I don't know, I'm not hating on him. When you're one of the best ever, you might as well show off. I mean, you've earned that right. But if you look deeply into it, what is Michael Jordan, or anybody else for that matter, doing when they close their eyes? They're heightening their other senses. So, in a golf context, we're going to be talking about how that elevates your level of feel when you close your eyes, your fraction. So, feel hugely important to all aspects of your golf game. And if you're talking feel, you're talking throat receptors. Now, what is that, Sean? That sounds kind of complicated. Well, don't worry, I'm going to explain it to you. Very simply, it's just your feel. So, it's they're found in a few different places. It's your, it's in your muscles, your joints, your ligaments, your tendons, and it's your feel. It's what allows you to have an awareness of how your body is moving through space. So, as you can imagine, very important for a golfer. Now. As you've probably guessed by the setting here, we're on a putting green. I'll put it in my hand here. This video is going to be primarily about putting, but on the subject of feel, I'm talking about why it's so important for a golfer. Let's just talk full swing for a second here. Okay, so let's pretend this is a seven iron or a driver or something in my hand here. It would not be practical for a golfer as they're over the ball about to hit a shot and have to look back at their swing and say, not too fond of that one. Not a big fan of that one either. That's better, right? Let's go. Got a golfer has to be able to feel whether that club is in an optimal position that's going to allow them to hit the shot they want to hit. For obvious reasons, or I would hope at least they're obvious, it's not going to do your game much good to be trying to self correct and see whether that club's in a good position at your backswing, for example. Now, in bringing that back to a putting conversation, for myself, I know personally, as soon as I start hitting puts up my eyes closed, I get this crystal clear feedback as to where I've hit the ball in the face. So whether it's slightly out of heel or slightly out of toe, the, ama the amazing feedback I get is just so much better than if, that I could otherwise get with my eyes open. The next thing putting with your eyes closed does is it eliminates a bad habit a lot of golfers get into. So whether they're trying to make sure they have the perfect stroke and it's going back perfectly straight and straight through, or whatever they think the perfect stroke is for them. And they're putting stroke. They start to track the putter head and watch it as it goes back, making sure it's in the right position, watching it with their eyes. So, but we know, all good putters keep their head pretty stable. They're watching the ball. There's not a ton of head movement going on there. And when you close your eyes, it gives you no other option but to keep your head so you can't watch the putter going back as far as it goes. Right? You just gotta trust that the practice you've done leading up to this putt was good enough that's gonna allow you to hit a good putt. And that keyword trust is what brings us on to our final top here. But what it allows you to do is it allows you to trust your stroke so much more. It frees you up and relaxes you, you'll have so much less tension in you when you're hitting putts. And I feel strongly that it also forces you to adopt this mindset of you've got to let it happen mentality as opposed to a conscious trying to make the stroke happen mentality. One of the biggest things, in my opinion, that holds golfers back from reaching their potential is they go out onto the course with this trying mentality. They're trying to hit the perfect shot, trying to have the perfect technique in their swing, but they just trust it in their swing and their game that it was good enough with the practice they've done and allowed themselves to get out their own way free up and just play the best golf they could they'd be in a far better position with their game 
And it's probably at about this point in the video that I'd be classed a bit of a butler if I didn't step up and put myself out there and try and pull a shot like Michael Jordan did with his eyes closed. So, we're gonna give it a go. Now, of course, I'm gonna have my eyes open as I'm aligning up to my target here, making sure I'm aiming correctly. And once I'm over the ball, I feel like I'm lined up correctly and I'm settled over the ball. I'm gonna close my eyes here. And we'll give it a go. Easy as that. So, drop it in the comment section below whose shot you thought was more iconic. Mine or Michael Jordan's, so what are always closed? I don't think he's gonna be too disheartened if you pick mine, so feel free to do that. Yeah, but on a serious note, as we're coming to the conclusion and wrapping up this video, hope you've enjoyed it. We've been over a lot of benefits closing your eyes and your practicing is going to add to your golf game. And just before we wrap up, I'd like to give a quick shout out to one of my mates, Keelan. He's big into his basketball, so when I told him I was going to be making this video, he reckoned that Michael Jordan had also done this shot with his eyes closed in the 91 season as well against Denver. And I checked this out, you spot on, so cheers for the heads up and out. But of course, it wasn't something Michael Jordan done frequently, it was pretty rare. And if you want to check out the shot that I've been referring to against the Knicks, in the description box below this video, it's the best video that I could find of him doing it. Probably a little longer than it needs to be in the build up to him hitting the shot. So if you skip to four minutes, two seconds into the video, it'll bring you right up as he's about to hit the shot. So yeah, really cool. I'd encourage you to check it out. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, comment below, give us some feedback, love to hear your thoughts in the video if it's helped you. And if you have any friends that you think could find some value in this as well, give it a share. So thanks for watching and until the next time, keep up the practice and we'll see you later.